On first blush, Luigi's story may seem like an ordinary one. He played football in high school. A few years later, he got married, started a family, and began building a career in manufacturing technologies. But Luigi remembers none of this. The first 32 years of his personal history, every last bit of it is gone, vanished without a trace. I didn't know who I was. I didn't know where I was. I had no past. It's almost like being born. 93, it would have been 32, a 32-year-old newborn. Most cases of amnesia obscure the past while also diminishing the brain's capacity to store and process new experiences. What makes Luigi's case so rare is that he has retained the ability to create new memories. This means that unlike many amnesiacs, he has the ability to live a normal life. But each and every day, Luigi faces profound questions about who he is and where he came from. Another extraordinary aspect of Luigi's form of amnesia is that it's left his fact-based memory intact, while his personal memories have been completely erased. In other words, he can remember how to play hockey, but not the hockey games he's played. Luigi's condition first became apparent after he emerged from a coma in 1993. It was at the hospital Luigi met Dr. Brian Levine. Dr. Levine had never met anyone like Luigi. It's really something from science fiction to come out of that experience and not recognize anybody, not have any memory. To call it an existential crisis would almost seem like an understatement. Dr. Levine is a scientist at the renowned Baycrest Medical Center in Toronto. He's diagnosed Luigi as suffering from a rare condition known as isolated retrograde amnesia. And he's eager to discover how Luigi can remember facts and skills, but nothing from his personal history. Scientifically, it's a puzzle. Normally, when someone has this type of amnesia, we don't expect that they, they would have new learning that he has. And the first concrete memory, it's almost like a very short film is being in a wheelchair the day that I was taken from Sunnybrook Hospital to the rehab hospital Riverdale at the time. It's me, like a third person, seeing me in the chair. Any feelings, anything around, I don't know, colors or people, that I can't recall. In an effort to figure out what's happening Hello? inside Luigi's brain, Dr. Levine has developed a simple okay. and ingenious and, uh, experiment. We'll send you the recorder and we'll send you the instructions and then um, we'll... Uh, He's asked we'll Luigi to record his new personal back. memories on a digital audio recorder. In summer, fall times, there wasn't any snow on the ground. Dr. Levine will then play back these recordings while Luigi's brain is scanned using MRI technology. In fall times, there wasn't any snow on the ground. His goal is to determine exactly which areas of Luigi's brain are active while he's recalling these new memories. An fMRI. The findings could reveal the truth behind Luigi's mysterious condition and, perhaps, shed new light on his journey to reclaim the past. 